I just seen this recently on, on the Reddits and I have to be honest, it kind of broke my heart. I'm not going to lie. It kind of broke my heart because basically, metaphorically wise, it seems like smack from back on fig, um, community side of things, one of the hosts on there has literally and figuratively crashed out via this video clip that I've seen of him essentially being involved in a high speed crash somewhere in South LA. And it's disappointing because if you watch a lot of back on fig, you would have known that T-Rail had warned him previously that, hey, you're being a bit too reckless on that bike. Um, I think he doesn't even have a license, if I'm not mistaken. Um, he clearly is somebody that enjoys a good party. He drinks, he smokes, maybe some other stuff is involved there. I can't speculate, but clearly somebody that loves has have a good time. And he's, you know, recently got himself a nice big bike that he's been driving around everywhere. And unfortunately, I guess because of what T. Rose has been saying on the pod and other people, it seems like he's been a bit reckless anyway, in general. And I guess this is clearly an example of his reckless behavior because he was involved in a high speed crash involving multiple vehicles. As you can see here from the video, this is what the site looked like when he crashed. And you can literally see him in the corner here next to the next to the van moaning and groaning as he's being kind of tended to by the medics and stuff. Let's play the clip. I kind of see Smack there next to the van. There he is. That's Smack. There. If you know Smack and you watch back on Fig, you'll know exactly what he looks like. That's definitely his face. And you can kind of hear him as well, moaning and groaning. And look at his bike. It's completely written off. Completely written off. Look, it looks mangled and dangled. Like the side of my rectangle. <laughs> no, like, no, mangled, dangled. Entangled on the sides like a where Mike can go nowadays. Huh? Yeah, these are really big up, big up, big up. Yeah, look, there's Smack right there, looking absolutely bewildered, getting attended to by the medics. I'm just hoping this guy wasn't drunk or high, because allegedly two people were injured and they went to um, hot there in like intensive care. So I'm I'm hoping that it's just like a you know, a kind of standard crash as in a traffic incident or a lack of flipping, you know, whatever, looking down on your phone. I hope it wasn't nothing to do with him being inebriated anyway, because that is ridiculous. And that is something that I don't stand for inside because I hate watching these stories of people. And I think it happens often. I forgot someone told me in the chat why it happens, but I hate these stories of people who are getting involved in kind of in crashes and somebody being under the influence on, in, you know, drinking or smoking or taking drugs and they crash and then the, the other person they crash into always passes away. It's never the fucking aggressor so or so. It's always the other person. It's absolutely unfair to how that order always happens. And it's always like some little child or a girl or a mom or a family. It's tragic. So I don't have any patience for people who decide to get behind the wheel or on their bike drunk and high. There's no excuse nowadays. There's enough flipping apps for you to get your fucking self from A to B. If you're a bit drunk and high, wherever, park your bike up somewhere, you know, have your fun and then get an Uber or whatever else you can get to go home. But don't be jumping on bikes and then putting other people's lives in danger because, you know, you don't have the fucking decency of getting into a cab because you're inebriated. I think you can kind of go home fun. It's, I hate that. Yo, look at that car. Look at that car. That's a massive collision. All the airbags have been in employed. The whole this basically car is written off also. Natashki is saying in the chat. Um, Texas passed a law that if a drunk driver kills the kids and the parents, they have to pay his child support for that child moving forward. Yeah, I agree with that. I think that's a more than fair solution. Number one, don't get behind the wheel in the first place. Make the punishments probably a little bit more severe than that. I'm talking about jail time, prison time, like for real. Like I fucking detest that shit. Um, but if you're gonna find a middle ground, sorry, then maybe the middle ground is you know putting into putting into law something that protects the children, so that if their parents do pass away or something happens in that respect, they're looked after. But still, 
you know, if you're behind the wheel and you're drunk and you're high and you get involved in a crash, can you can take your like? I'm I'm the kind of person. I'm not naive enough to say that people aren't out there drinking, drunk and high. They're out there doing it. Just make sure you don't crash. If you crash into somebody, your life should be ruined, like legit. Especially if that person dies or is like, you know injured in a way where their life com changes completely like they're in a wheelchair paralyzed or something your life should be affected the same way because you took that gamble it's a gamble you want to take maybe you only live 10 minutes away whatever you want to do but just make sure you don't crash into somebody because if you do crash into somebody i want you thrown under jail i want you thrown into prison i don't care look at that car and forget even the the injury to the people just imagine already day to day because i don't drive but I have friends that do drive and they always talk about how expensive it is to have a car, right? There's all these niggly costs. You get a ticket, your, your your tire gets flat, someone steals your tire. You need to, you know, change the oil. There's something fucked up with the engine. Suspension is fucked. Alignment of the steering wheel. Like just, there's all these things that pop up with cars, right? Somebody smashes the windows of your, of your car to, to, nick some, to, to nick some change in your fucking glove compartment nonsense shit right that kind of adds to the daily cost monthly cost of your car just imagine on top of that already struggling already like you know cost of living is kicking your ass you're struggling to put gas in the car but you need it to get to a to b you need it to get to your fucking job you need it to get to school you need it to get around and then suddenly suddenly something like this happens now you're driving now you're carless for what for how long come on Especially if you use your car for gig economy stuff. You use it to do Uber Eats and to do fucking, you know, Ubers and all this stuff. Like, oh, I detest. I detest it. See all the, all the medical people out here trying to help as much as they can I think they're going to put smack on the stretcher it looks like so many people have to come out for it like look at the amount of flipping resources that get used up for a crash you know your fucking recklessness look how much look how many resources get used up look how many police officers i don't get me wrong maybe it's lapd incompetence who knows but look how many people are out there there's fire brigade there's ambulances medics there's police officers there's probably going to be detectives later like how many how much resources have to get used to just look up to just fucking sort out your nonsense because you were reckless you didn't this you know you weren't grown up enough to be like you know what i had my fun i was drunk i was high let me go and fucking jump into a fucking cab or something to get home jesus oh yeah that's max fucking uh motorbike jacket too you see okay they've been taking stuff that's probably his air force ones and he's a motorbike or vest from his a motorbike club that he's in that he's a part of and i think they're trying to get him up now yeah that's definitely smacks motorbike vest. Jesus Christ, he crashed into two. So I guess maybe he hit one car and the other car hit the other one. There's like two cars here completely written off. I was saying here, um, Hasib said the worst thing is paying for parking. It's almost like two twenty nine, two ninety nine delivery charge. I'll pay ten pound for the same thing on Prime delivery costs. Yeah, exactly. Look how many police officers are here? Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven police officers. <laughs> All because you wanted to be fucking reckless on the road, man. God, Maddie. I am privilege, Ary Aryan privilege, you're a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Did a tall black man running, pounding sidewalk, breathing loud, scare a white lady in front of and cause a wreck. <laughs> this chat is too. <laughs> <laughs> K 
can you imagine? Can you imagine me fucking scaring somebody like that into now god forbid man god forbid god forbid god forbid my fucking heavy breathing and running down the street would scare anybody to run into the road that would cause a fucking crush or that god forbid oh my god i'd be fucking mortified hey yo by the way what cars are these man they 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 look like, i don't know they don't look like they could take good, a good a good fucking hit do they look at this car it got hit in the side but the whole entire tire got absolutely ripped from its axle. What is this? Is this like a Jeep or ro what is it? Is that a Jeep Land Rover? Looks like a looks like a Range Rover, doesn't it? Looks like a Range Rover grill. The whole entire left wheel is completely smashed, completely ripped off its axis, and it only got hit on the side. That is not a good sign. That it's a is that a Ford? Wow, really? Okay, maybe some people saying it's a Ford. Okay, cool. Shit. No wonder, of course, it's raining. Yeah, as you can tell, everybody is, yeah, so. Again, force and feelings go out to the victims. I'm really hoping that nothing bad happened and it's just a minor crash. It doesn't look minor to me. But if this guy was drunk and high, then he deserves some he he deserves some proper consequences because that's completely unacceptable. Especially if people are flipping, you know, you know, yeah. I'm not I'm not for that. Um, Crash is saying, I drove while on shrooms in high school, and there were too many left or right choices, so I just drove straight. <laughs> I don't like this playing play game. Honestly, this play play is not good, man. I don't like this. I, I I don't like this play play. I don't think that's cool. Perhaps I don't think that's cool. I don't think people driving inebriated is cool in the slightest. And I think if people, you know, become injured in these crashes and go to hospital and shit, and, you know, they unfortunately have, you know, life altering life altering injuries or they die, you should be in prison immediately. Immediately. Like I have no no sympathy or patience for that stuff in the slightest. Like go jump off the nearest cliff if that was me. But anyway, <laughs> 